this is Linda from the duchesskitchen.com welcome back to my channel for today I'm going to show you guys how to make a cake donut or cake nut or uh, cake nuts or whatever you want to call it but it's a fun way to use other pieces of cake leftover cake or any cake you want and any flavor I have six inches cake broken and the pieces into my bowl right here and I'm going to just use my hands and uh, since I'm not going to bake anything I, I like to put on gloves um, for safety and purposes so that I'm just going to crumble this into pieces as you can see in the picture and I'm adding two tablespoons of softened cream cheese and I will add more if the need be and also depending on your cake whether it was dry or moist so you can even start with just one if you have very moist cake so now I've mixed everything together and if you Price it and they all hold its shape, come together, then it's ready. So now I'm going ahead to melt my candy melt. You can use real chocolates, which you have to temper. Um, and I want um, red for the purpose of Valentine. Um, so you can customize. So now I'm going to add a tablespoon and a half into my mold donuts mold and we use this brush to just spread everything around um, make sure the center of the mold it's also covered so that um, your cake will not be showing when it is done. So that I've put in the freezer to firm up. So I'm going to do a second run so that I make sure all the edges are all covered with some of the chocolate. So that to make molding and the end product look presentable, beautiful and all covered in chocolate. So I'm going to do this for all the two for the purpose of this video i'm just using three but i'll go ahead and do the rest um, of camera so now i think i like what i see here so i'll just firm that one two up and uh, i've started with the first one so i'm going to do the second one and show you how easy this is just press them in and you make sure they are just they are very compact so that they don't break apart and the chocolate even holds it together. Hi. Um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions too, you can leave them in the uh, comment section and I will make sure to read them and respond to them. Thank you to all my subscribers. And Thank you for the support. So I'm going to do this for all the other one as well. Then I'll come back and turn. So now all the three molds are filled. Um, now I'm going to, to eat, add about a half tablespoon or as many as will cover the surface of your cake mixture because I don't want um, the cake to be showing so I'm going to add a little bit more and just um, shake them around for so I'm just going to spray them around with a spatula um, just clean the edges so you can see how it's covered nicely yeah so now I'm going to set this in the freezer fridge to firm up. Then we continue with our 
with gel nuts. So now it has been in the fridge for about 15 minutes. So they are ready. So we are just going to unmold it. Usually um, the middle section gets stuck with chocolate. So you just take them off, then you push them through. And now we're going to decorate it. This is how I like to decorate it. Just drizzle some white melted chocolate, add some sprinkles. Um, yeah, but as I said, you can um, do it for any occasion. Choose the colors you want, the type of sprinkles you want, and that should be fine as well. So what I did with this one, I just used melted chocolate pipe into a mold to create some little flowers that I want to top them up with. And any mold, silicone mold you have, any shape, any design that you like, you can use it. And the white chocolate, when it turns out, pops out, pop right out. So you just add a little bit of chocolate onto it and stick it on it. And our cake donut is ready to go. So I'm going to cut one and we see how it looks inside. Um, I had fun making this cake donut. I hope you guys will give it a try. If you have any questions, please leave them down below and I will answer them. And thank you for watching. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and turn on the notification so that anytime I upload a video, you'll be notified. Thank you. Stay blessed. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.